Hello everybody, it is Badger Wild. We are back with another Space Engineers tutorial video. Yes, I know I hit the turrets a lot, but I, I just love this block. <laughs> Thanks to this plug and play system, I get to experiment with some ideas on turrets without having to be too technically savvy in the terms of coding. But looking behind me here, you're probably seeing this weird monstrosity behind me. And I thought, I, I basically I went in and started experimenting with this because I noticed there were ways of creating a camera by cutting off the guns inside of a system. So I thought, hmm, I wonder if I could make something a little different. And after some rigorous experimentation, we have this monstrosity behind me. So what is this? This is basically two independent sets of guns operating on two different systems, creating the same turret, if you can figure that. What, what I'm doing here is I've got two turret control blocks here that are ultimately this one here has this rotor, azimuth rotor, and this horizontal rotor along with these guns and cameras on the left side of your screen here. That is, that is hooked up to that one turret controller. This one turret controller over here has these hooked up with this rotor, camera, and guns here. Now, what happens is something really cool. As it turns out, this works as a perfectly functional turret. I know, wild. Uh, this, this adds a whole lot of new options to y'all if you want to play with some turrets and add like a better armored turret chassis. This is something I was trying to figure out for a long time, trying to figure out how to put two guns on either side of a turret and have them almost turn independently of each other. But ultimately, you can armor this center section here. And to show you guys, I'm going to hop up here and we're going to get one of these uh, SPRT pirates to come over here and get into a fight with this thing. And I'll show you how effective it is. Uh, when I build this thing, the horizontal turrets, whenever you build a turret, you need to put in a uh, inertia or shared inertia to prevent the thing from shaking too much. But you'll see this thing doesn't really shake a whole lot with the inertia thing put in. And it actually works very well, in fact, frighteningly well, that you can just start stacking guns like this on the side of a freaking turret and just have these wicked turret destroyers. Okay, we've got an enemy there. Let's run him back over here to base. Come and get me, son. You're not going to last very long. So, how does this work? Um, basically, one side of the turret gets everything into position and then the other side just has to tilt up and get right into power. It has no control over it, but it can level itself out. And what happens is a very interesting turret, which could give us, and I've been trying to build a tank. This might give me a very interesting tank here pretty soon. We're going to fly back over here because it's after me. Let's see, 1000. This will give us a good show of what this thing will do. It's not very heavily armored, so once he hits within like the 600 range, there we go. And lights him up, lights him up. And you can see they are, they're all just laying into that thing. <laughs> Did tear into the base a little bit. Like I said, it's, it's frighteningly effective. Uh, this type of build with this turret. It is it is just frightening how effective this thing is. But consider building like tanks and stuff. Instead of having to work around that one turret in the center, you could build your turret up onto a twin gun system and it would make a very cool, very intricate looking tank gun. And then you could armor the heck out of it and add whatever turrets or systems that you want. I am going to do some experimentation with this because I do want to see what it will do. But as you can see, if the guns can operate independently of each other if one detects something and the other one doesn't. But it will just... And, and this is just like overkill. This is basically a ball turret set in. But when you're building something a lot bigger, say rail guns or something of that effect, or even artillery cannons, um, you can build a little bit bigger. We don't have a rail gun dedicated turret. And with the dedicated... Uh, here, let me just show you here real quick. With dedicated gun turrets such as let me see here get this up to max size with a dedicated turret platform 
for like the assault cannon and the artillery guns, those weapons have dual cannon functions. You can now build this in game now, which means you can build something like that which will, this right here, but do it with rail guns. I will have to build something like that at some point. But you can literally build this, and I think probably we could just build this with three small version turrets. Somehow, you would have to install that. Probably have to do some subgridding, which we're already subgridding with a turret anyway. But you could subgrid in like a twin gun, heavy rail gun, and have it fairly compact, or even go bigger if you wanted but like I said, this this here can now be built on top of a tank, a turret. You could build something similar to this. And I don't even think we would need the cameras to do so. I think to take the cameras off of it, I know these turrets will work without camera systems. So just a very interesting concept here. I thought I would show you guys and what you can do with the turret controller block because this is something I've just now figured out and thought you guys would like to see it and see what you guys can come up with in the... Uh, I lost my train of thought there for a minute. I'd, I'd like to see what you guys can come up with in the um, in the workshop. So send me some ideas y'all have in the workshop and I may check this out. Send me a vehicle with something like this on it. Like I said, this is just me experimenting on what you can do with this. So you, like I said, you got the assault turrets and this, but you don't have the rail gun. The rail gun... The railgun doesn't have a twin turret variant, and you could easily build a twin gun variant similar to these guns, and it would look amazing. Like I said, I hope you guys found this enjoyable and informative. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to do some short form content so you guys can have something easy to run, and I'll probably drop another video uh, Wednesday because I'm getting back to where I can do Wednesday videos now. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. hope you guys enjoyed the concept here, and y'all make some really cool stuff. And as always, I am Badger Wild, signing out.